I can count the days when I got angry, but you can count on the fingers. But that doesn't stay longer. This is one problem also for me, you know. Sometimes you need to show anger, but when the workers around me, when I show anger, they know it's not genuine, so they end up <laughs> laughing, I end up laughing. So, uh, the last time was when tsunami was happening and I travelled all the way from Europe to go to Tamil Nadu and then there was this one guy who was, distribute, who was supposed to distribute the blankets and all that and he was holding it back for 24 hours because there was no camera there. So I got there and I told him, why haven't you distributed it? He said, there is no camera. I said, what nonsense? Because he wanted to safeguard his position. So he wanted to show that he has really given it to people. Otherwise, you know, people could accuse him of, you know, taking it away for himself or... He was, uh, he was scared for his own reputation. So he didn't distribute. That was the time I really got mad at him. Say, this is stupid. And the word that comes out of me at that time is just this word. What he said now. Somehow it is uh, sort of inbuilt in me. I can't take credit for it. I didn't do anything to make uh, that happen. Or uh, anger not coming to me. But anger is not bad, you know. If it stays only as long as you draw the line on the surface of water. But if it stays inside of you, it eats you like a cancer. It harms your own system. It becomes sort of unbearable. Here, meditation comes to your help. Pranayama, Kriya, meditation. Uh, uplifts you to a place where you are able to see beyond, you know, perfection, imperfection.